This is Carmen 13, the one I gave you earlier. It's hendecasyllabic meter, just like the last one. And if you remember hendecasyllabic, it's got a choo. The first foot has got a couple options that it can be. The second foot has to be a dactyl. The third and the fourth have to be trochees. And the last one, the fifth foot, has got this special thing where the last uh, syllable in the entire line, it can be whatever it wants. We're just going to put that X there because we can. First thing we really should do is go through and, and put the syllables the way that they should be. So I know it's an extra step, but while we're still working, while we're still young at this, we really should break these syllables up the way that... Oops. That should be right there. Okay. Cannabis bene mi fabule apud me. If we look, we have too many syllables in here. It's because we have an elision. The E drops out. So uh, the E drops out. So it's pronounced fabula pud. That sounds weird. Cana. There's my first one. Bis bene. There's my second. Me or me. Fa. This one's long because the two L's. Uh, U is going to be long. Just like that. Oh, that's an X. Can you tell it's an X? Well, that's a very ugly X. All right? Easy peasy, right? Just make sure that you see these elisions because they are, they're going to, there we go. They're sneaky. Pow, pow. That's a whole, that's a whole um, diphthong right there. Keys, C. T B D Ba went D A bus one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven okay we don't have to worry about illusions here it counts as eleven pow keys C T B oops I'm getting too long D Fa went D, A, bus. So good so far, huh? All right. Go back to blue. Let's try number three. C, T, cum, at, tool, two. The L wants to go with the E. L, ris, bo, nam, at. Quay Magnum. Mm, it's GN here. Magnum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh oh. We better watch out. Obviously, there are two elisions in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's, there's this UM. Remember, that's a nasal sound, so this UM it drops off when it elides with the A. So it's pronounced C. Tecatularis. Oh, we have another one of these nasals. That AM is going to drop out when it goes to the otque. C. Tecatularis bonatque magnum. Now we have 11. Let's go back and do our. All right, so now the syllable here is catularis. Catularis. Bo, not, quay, mag, nam. Does this make sense? Watch out for these elisions. Yeah. These elisions will get you. will get you every time. So moving on, there's going to be at least seven more of these elisions. So, right, make sure that you can put them into the syllables. Watch out for the elisions. And then go back and do this. Do not do this first. You will run into problems. Okay, so what we got here is the first eight lines of Catullus 13 that I asked you to try to um, to try to translate. Uh, well, I'm going to go through some things that might trip you up real fast, and we'll get as much of this as possible. Obviously, I want you to scan the whole thing. I only did the first three lines. But um, hopefully you won't have too, too much of a problem. So let's just...
get something in here. So, cannabis bene mi fabule apud me cannabis. That's a future tense, right? And the S there tells me that you were doing it. Mi fabule is um, here. It's He's talking to Fabulous. This is his friend. These are vocatives. It's not something we talk about very much. So, you, well, cannabis means to dine. You can see it over in the vocabulary well, over there. You will dine. Bene just tells us how. You will dine well. He calls him my fabulous. Where is he going to dine well? Apud me. You should know Apud at whose house? My house. Or with me, perhaps. Oh, the first line is fairly straightforward. There's not, shouldn't be any problems there. Paucus C tibi defa when DA bus is a little tough because Paucus is just kind of sitting there all by itself. It belongs with Diebus at the, at the end of the sentence. They're really far apart, which is weird, but um, this is a common thing in your packet at the very last um, very last page kind of talks about what's going on here. Um, it's called hyperbaton. It's when the noun and the adjective are kind of too far away for what we like, but here, paucus diebus, in a few days, they're just ablatives here, ablatives of time, in a few days. C, tibi defawent, if the gods paper yeah, if they do this, then you will dine well. Hmm. We have another conditional coming up. C, tecum a tuleris, bonum atque magnum canam, non sine uh, and then the sentence keeps on going. It's actually a long sentence. This one kind of goes into the next place. If you do something, if you will have brought with you, that doesn't sound good in English, so if you bring with you, what should you bring with you? Bonum atque magnum canam. Oh, a good and magnum. Big? What's good and big? The canam. Oh. Ha, come over to my place. Just bring the food. Bring this. And here, here's another thing. Not without without. What we call it double negative? Yeah, got a little double negative here, not without. Ooh, a candida puella. What else should you bring? Candida can mean white, but here it's probably more like shining. Or maybe beautiful. Ooh, don't forget a beautiful girl. Girl. What else should you bring with you? Not without wine. Sale here. If you look over here, you see that sal means salt. Um, it can mean salt. Maybe he wants them to bring the salt. But it can also mean wit, as in you are a witty person. So, I don't know. Which one do you like better? I'll leave that up to you. An omnibus cacanis. Omnibus, you know what those are. Cacanis is given to you. Yeah, bring the good company. Hike. Hike here is referring to all of these things up here. It's neuter plural. So these things. And then we got another. Oh, look at this. We got another. Um, conditional sentence. It's a lot like the one we had up here. If, in quam, I say, you bring this, and then he calls them, this is a, another vocative. Up here he called them my fabulous. Down here he calls them um, our charming friend or our attractive man. I don't know. What would you call your friend if you were trying to get him to bring everything to a dinner party? If you bring all this stuff, I say, Cannabis bene, which is just up here. 
why am I asking you as Catullus? Why am I asking you to bring everything? Now he gives us the reason for Tui Catulli here is genitive. He own your Catullus owns something. So your Catullus is what? Send it on the next line. This is the thing about poetry is that you can do this. Plainus succulus est arenarum. So plainus means full. Succulus is a little bag or perhaps a coin purse here. Oh, so his coin purse, his, his full coin purse? Hmm, how's this going to work? Think about this one for a second. Plainus is sitting next to Succulus, and it looks like it should go together. But if he had money in his purse, would he be asking for him to bring all this stuff? No, because then we look and we see that this next line, or excuse me, we see that these next two words is, is arenarum. Arena, um, arena are cobwebs. Who is of cobwebs? So we have another genitive here. Full little bag is of cobwebs. For your Catullus's full little bag is of cobwebs. Obviously, some word here is in the wrong order. Does he have money? How do you know he doesn't have money? What's in his little purse? So those are the first eight lines.